It is officially so over for Israel, or at least in any respectable world, it would be or should be. But with how rampant Zionism is, not only in the U.S. government, but in some other countries as well, you never really know. A report came out recently about nine or ten Israeli soldiers who joined together to sexually assault a Palestinian prisoner. Something that is not uncommon for Palestinian prisoners to endure, but that along with the torture that he was imposed on, that was imposed on him, resulted in severe injuries, paralysis, and the need for hospitalization as he was in critical condition. This follows last month where three Israeli whistleblowers came forward to confirm the torture and systemic abuse that is carried out onto these prisoners by the Israeli soldiers being blindfolded, forced to wear diapers, assaulted physically and sexually, and this ended up in some of those soldiers being detained. Which sounds just, sounds like Israel is doing the right thing, but from there it just starts to get crazier and crazier, starting with Israeli mobs including their elected officials, like their lawmakers and media members, storming the base where these soldiers were held in protest of them being arrested for the sexual assault. You can't make this up. And this isn't even where the madness ends. Just wait till you see the next clip. Though it is important to know, again, Israeli lawmakers were included in this mob. People were wearing caps in support of Netanyahu in this mob, as well as the Israeli media being involved in storming this base to protest rapists being arrested. And don't forget, again, they're sexually assaulting Palestinian prisoners, many of whom are held without charge, effectively, effectively making them hostages. And it took Netanyahu hours before he broke his silence, finally speaking out and calling for it to stop, making this mirror January 6th in odd ways, kind of like oddly similar, as Netanyahu just let this continue on for hours before he decided to put it to rest. It kind of shows where he stands on the matter as well. And while this was going on, the storming of the base, what else was happening might you ask? Well, the Israeli government was debating if sexually assaulting prisoners is justified. I, I kid you not, like you again, you can't make this shit up. It was a serious proposal that was put forth in their government. <laughs> אוקיי? Okay? ואני מאוד מבקש, ואני חושב שחבריי בקואליציה טוב יעשו, אם יעשו כמוני. אנחנו לא יכולים להמשיך כרגיל. להכניס מקל לרקטום שתוק. של בן אדם, שתוק. זה לגיטימי? כן, אם הוא נוחבה, הכל לגיטימי לעשות okay, לו. הכל. אז... That is members of the Israeli government claiming that anything, torture, sexual abuse, murder, is fine to do to the prisoners because they're Palestinians. And again, many of whom are held without charges, effectively meaning they are hostages. In any other nation, they would be called hostages. But because they're Muslim, because they're Palestinian, they're prisoners, even though you couldn't tell them what they did wrong. Why are we, as a developed nation, a democracy, a beacon of freedom, all these things we claim to be, that we're like, you know, we're these things, right? Why are we backing the actions of a country who would justify this? Israel is an apartheid state. They oppress Palestinians. They're doing a genocide. They are carrying out a genocide currently, using our money to help fund it, and they weaponize sexual violence when it's used against them. Lots of reports coming out about false claims of sexual violence on October 7th, using it to create a narrative, right? Things you cannot write because first impressions last longer than the debunking of those, than when people come out and backtrack their statements, but then they justify when they're doing it to Palestinians. This is... I'm just going to bite my tongue on that one. This is not something that anyone should be proud to stand and defend. And something needs to change. And it has to start with America putting an end to our unconditional support of these kinds of just horrendous, disgusting, indefensible actions carried out by what is supposed to be the, the shining democracy in the Middle East.